Alright, how's it going today, guys? So, I just copied our engine down here. Our engine assembly down here. And we're going to move it down over here. Because we need to set up making electric engines before we start making the flying frames because we need electric engines to make the flying frames. So we're going to need steel plates, batteries, electronic circuits, electric en engine units, and the adenium. So I'm copying this down here and I'm going to get it set up and then for our electric we need the engine unit, electronic circuits, gold, and lubricant. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it up here, which should be fine. Let's see what the speed here is. So this is going to take 13 seconds, or 10 seconds, and this is going to take 10 seconds. So by offsetting this by one, that will be perfectly fine. And we can set this for those. And we will input our lubricant up here at the top. I'll have to run that up here yet. So then we will have this bringing our lubricant. Okay, so they're going to be on that one, so this will be for inputting the engine units that will be on this line. Go ahead and pop these in here, and this is going to be where we're inputting, uh, let's see, this line here is for these. that need to get placed onto the belt there, which we don't need all of them there. At least we probably won't, depending on how much of these we need to get made. But I seriously doubt we're going to need much more than that. So let me get all of this set up, get the lubricant up here, and then we will look at getting the gold and the circuits into there in just a moment. Alright, so I got the lubricant up here, I got everything set up, we already have our engine units in here, so now we just need our circuits and our gold. So we're going to go ahead and just thinking here in case I need to take this out. I think I'm going to bring the circuits and the gold up on this side. We'll come through here and we'll just put the circuit and the gold here. And then we need to run them in through here. Now, the only issue is we're going to have to have a place to output this. And if we have this to input into there, we're not going to be able to do this to output. Because of having the pipe there. So I have to work out how I'm going to do this. And I think what I'm going to do is split them.
Ooh. I could run the circuits in on this line. Basically, I could have this come in like that and have the circuits go in right there. Could work. The other option is what I've done in the past, which is move this over to say there, that to there. Nope, I need to move those over just a little bit further. So, here and there. And then that would give me. We put a belt there. This would be the output. But yep, I'm going to have to change this just a little bit. So, we'll have. That output line goes there. No, we'll have the input line come in here. So we'll run this line over and we'll put a splitter here and then we can put this one there. We'll have an input here. And then we will do the same. Take these out of here. Move that over there. And then we'll have an input line right there. Except I'm going to have to move this one up to there. So this one will feed that one. This one will feed these two. And then we can do another two over here. Grab this line running through here, which is our output. So then we'll have this come in, and that go like that. And I think I'm actually going to take this one out. don't really like that one being there. So then that'll give us four of these down here and four of these up here. And then we just need to make some pipes because I had to use some of them. I haven't made my way back down there to grab more. that right there and that will give us all of our pipes up. Now we just need that and that, that and that. That will actually clean this up just a bit. We can run this down here. And now, with the way that is, we can completely stretch this out if we need to, stretch those out more if we need to. Looks pretty good. Alright, so we need a gold and circuits. So we're going to need to do that. And 
Young man, you're going to be right in the damn light. Let's do this here. Alright, so I'll take care of the circuits. We can run the gold up. And what in the hell am I doing here? So and luckily gold's on the top. There we go. That'll get the gold and the circuits. They will get sent around here. Then we just need to take our this is in the wrong spot. Except I can technically do this actually. Go ahead and run the output up there and just come back down and then I don't have to remove this belt. of them and just like that and that'll fill them up on the line there we go that is our engine done and I'm gonna leave a bit of room here for if we need more of these Let's say, okay, there we go. Alright, so we'll leave some more room here in case we need some more of them. And I think, I'm going to clean this area up here. Let's look and see what we need next for these flying robot frames. So, we have steel, we have circuits, we have electric energy units, and we have needed eating. We need batteries. And we're going to be making our batteries with the lithium so we can get those used. So, let's go ahead and... We have batteries made here, but we're basically just using those for our accumulators. So I'm going to go ahead and set up another one here, and then this will be for the robotic frame. This will be for the battery. So then we need to get iron and copper in on that line. We'll put lithium on that line. And we can just have this output directly in there. And then we need to have steel and neodymium on that line. I'll take care of that and that, and then we just need the circuits and the energy unit, or engine units, which we'll have coming on this line. Unless I want to do this. Let me think a second. So I have five things coming in.
I have helium, xenium, battery over there, circuit in the engine, and then we can do the output up here on the top. And I am guessing we're going to make 12 batteries. And those are going to be made in 20 seconds. And this is going to take 20 seconds to craft and only need two. So we can technically do like six of these. of one thing of batteries. So I think what we're going to do is shift this over so we can actually put the batteries out onto a belt. So we'll have the batteries go out on a belt like that. And then we'll put this up one. So then we'll have that and put it there. And that and put it there. That is our frame. Then we're going to have that input. That input, and then we will have the output come out right there, which we can just use regular for this, and we're going to need these for inputting. So yeah, I think that should work. And then we can just basically copy uh wait a minute and get these in here real quick. Alright, so now we should be able to just copy that there and there. And we can have this, that, and that should work. I did forget to set those. Alright, so give me a minute. Let me get everything loaded in here on the belts. And we'll be back and get this thing running and start making us some bots. Alright, that should be it. We have our neodymium coming in on this line, picking up our belts, our, our engine here, which we will be bringing over like that. We need to get a underground there, and that should take care of everything. We should now have our flying robot frames coming out and going right there on that belt. So what I ended up doing was running the lithium over from right here, our steel and circuits over from this side our iron and copper over here and then our motors and our neodymium is coming in from this side and 
right, there is our frames. Get that thing out of there. So now to make our bots, we just need advanced circuits and regular circuits. So if I do, we'll say four of them and four of them. Can run this down through there. I'm quite sure we're not going to be able to do four of them the amount of frames that are coming out. We will probably have to put in quite a few more of these, but we've got plenty of room to do so, and as you can see, plenty of material to do so. So that won't be an um, issue. So now we just need to get the circuits up here for this. So I will just run a line up right here. And we will put in a splitter here. We will set that for the uh, green circuit, not that direction, and then that means the red ones can come up here. Go this direction. And then we'll just have the outputs go right there and right there. So we'll just do a bit of this. A bit of that. in a few electric poles here. We should be able to really find there. I gotta go down and grab some more belts. Um, We'll grab some more belts and then we get that finished and we will have our bots made and let's see the highly advanced is done so now we can get started on this so we can use our um, thorium which so far it looks like we're okay our iron isn't running out over here yet. I haven't been back there to check on it lately. Grab our belts. We okay on everything else. Yeah, we could use some fast inserters while we're down here. Luckily, once we get these bots done, we can actually but having them bring us a lot of this stuff and we won't have to run down there to get it. All right, so we need to get our two circuits. So, and you know what? I just did that wrong spot. There and do it like that. And the other one we need is red. And why 
annoying that I bring that up there. That should be there. And there we go. That will get our red and our green circuits onto that belt. And as I said, this will output those there. I'll put those there. And we're actually going to use a have a robo port and probably insert into that. That way we can just fill it with logistics and construction bots. Um, I haven't done it before that I can remember, so I'll have to see how I want to actually do this. We do definitely need a chest for the construction ones because we're going to want some of those in my inventory. Alright, so what is the problem here? Um, the problem is, I never put down long handles that actually output this. And where in that heck? I'm gonna have to move that there. Have that go there. Then we need up here. I'll take care of that. So there is our logistics. There are our construction. And so now if we go over here, we have modular armor, which is what we already have. But we can make a personal robo port. I just need to grab some batteries, which we have plenty of right here, and a little bit of iron. Which I will come and take from here. There's our personal little port. That all made, and the only problem with that is I'm going to have to take out one of my energy shields to be able to put this in here until we get the modular armor mark two, which shouldn't actually be too far off. So there we go. We now have that, and we need to grab us a few of these guys. We do not need 50 of them. That would be plenty right there. So now they can do some of our construction work for us, mainly clearing trees. And that also means we now have our personal logistics and auto trash. So I can just go through here and tell it I want to keep 50 of those. Them. And I will get all of this set up. And I will talk to you guys next time. We will be crafting the new robo ports, the advanced ones. I'll make both of them so we can look at them and see what is different. And then we also have that new uh, charger, charging station, which needs a robo port. So, and we have some artificial energy crystal. We're going to have to look into that. So. If we can do that, 
we will be making that. And, oh no, we can't do the advanced roll report because we need the fiberglass and the natural fiber. So that is what we're going to be setting up next time. So, see you then.